American uh, manufacturing sector has been a, a ticket for the middle class and for poor folks uh, into prosperity for our entire history of this country. And uh, it's taken a beating lately. And the question is, what would you do to help revitalize and move manufacturing into the 21st, 22nd century? Thank you. Uh, thank you, Ike, and thank, thank you for your advocacy. Eileen, I believe I'm the next Here, Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for your advocacy for so long in terms of job retention in America. Uh, I have been a strong supporter of manufacturing and the importance of manufacturing to our country. Uh, just not for uh, family sustaining jobs, but for national security purposes. As a matter of fact, I've had a, a, a bumper sticker on my car for 15 years that says, Be American by America. And as we sit here today, we do not have a singular program uh, in Pennsylvania that is specifically and only for the retention of manufacturing in Pennsylvania. We need to do everything we can as a commonwealth to keep the manufacturing jobs that we have. Why? Because they are family sustaining jobs. Why? Also because manufacturing jobs impact so many other jobs within our economy. It has been estimated that manufacturing jobs support five other jobs. So what we need in Pennsylvania is a specific program a specific program that zeroes in on job retention of manufacturing specifically. I will do that as governor of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Thank you, Mr. Garvey. Well, I think it's a, a two-fold approach. Obviously, uh, manufacturing has been leaving the United States for decades. Cities like Sprint have seen it for many, many years. So we face two challenges. One is we obviously want to keep the manufacturing that we have help invest in it to improve and compete on a worldwide basis. But the other thing we have to do is invest in education. You know, life goes on, time moves on. But it is very important that we invest in education. I, as a father of six kids, the best thing that we can do is have universal pre-K. Get the kids involved early. The truth is, if we're gonna compete on a worldwide basis, we have to think outside the box. We often talk about education to provide jobs for the people of our state. Well, how about this for a novel idea? How about we provide education to people who create jobs, people who create their own businesses, people who think outside the box? That's what it is to be an American. That's what it is to think differently. We challenge ourselves every day. Every day, we're in competition with the world. And the way we compete with the world is by educating our people so that we stay the best. Because it is America that leads every day in this world. But we're always being chased, and time changes. And what is new today will no longer be new tomorrow. It's incumbent on us that we educate future innovators, and we make sure that Pennsylvania is known as the place that thinks ahead of the curve. Thank you. My jobs program has three proposals. The first is to make sure that the workforce is well educated for the jobs of the future, uh, as well as well trained uh, for new jobs that uh, their careers may require. So early childhood education funding needs to be doubled. We need to fully fund the public education funding formula, and we need to beef up our access uh, and the resources at community colleges to give kids <coughs> easier access to higher education and to use community colleges for the workforce development. Secondly, we need to invest in older communities and downtowns and use public dollars uh, as a subsidy to try to attract private development. That's where most of the jobs will be created by private development. And again, focus on older communities and downtowns as we have been successfully in, Mon in Montgomery County. Our program is just underway about four months. We have already, in Norristown, preserved or created 500 jobs. It's made a huge difference. Uh, and then the third aspect is to use our state money, economic development, transportation, open space, in a coordinated way to um, improve the quality of life in the communities that need help so that businesses will be attracted to invest there. I work for the governor as international uh, business deputy secretary to bring foreign businesses to Pennsylvania. And we want our kids to stay here, our high school and college graduates to stay here. We need to invest to grow the economy. Thank you. Uh, in my opening statement, I talked about the turnaround of Allegheny County. And in that turnaround, manufacturing played a big part. Uh, 
I'm glad and happy to tell you today that the new jobs and in investment in Allegheny County include Allegheny Blow and building a $1.2 billion steel plant in Bracken as we help get the shovel ready site uh, for the plant to move forward. U.S. Steel is building a billion dollar steel plant. And even in the renewable energy field, uh, a German company has just opened a $46 million manufacturing plant where they make the mirrors for the solar machine. <coughs> manufacturing is alive and well. We just got to be able to compete and make sure that we have a fair playing field. Americans are the most productive individuals on earth. If we make sure that the global marketplace is a fair competitive field, we can compete. And the examples I gave you today show that in this day and age, we can still make steel, still manufacture mirrors for the solar industry. We can make things. And we have to make things because the multiplier effect is so big. But education is key. Uh, my educational paper that I put out, my policy paper, it talks about fully funding and making sure we expand early childhood. It talks about committing to the costing out stuff. But we also changed the curriculum of our community colleges to match the needs of our companies. And now, we have five programs, and if you enter any one of these five programs, there's a job waiting for you at the end of two years, because we found the needs of the private sector. We're training the workers for the future, and it matches at the end of that process. We put people back to work in good paying jobs. Thank you. Is there a Yeah, I mean, Jack. I don't agree. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to add, I started out by saying we have problems, and we have serious problems. Uh, our two largest counties, Philadelphia and Allegheny County, each lost 20,000 jobs in 2009. Uh, our country really is faced with a crisis in manufacturing. I commend President Obama for placing tariffs for the first time in 16 years on the imports of tires uh, into this country. More of that needs to happen, and incidentally, I'm one of the few candidates that, have, that supported President Obama in his candidacy for president in the primary of 2000. Thank you.